<laughs> oh, do we start? Yeah. We need copyright strikes and that. <laughs> no, we, we we can't we can't start with that. We literally can't start with that. We're gonna it was less than thirty seconds. We're fine. I'll cut it out. All right, whatever. It's, Get off of me. It's two thirty in the morning. We're podcasting. Sizzling podcast. So I'm yeah. not gonna be able to lie down, Chris, because your mic's way over there. No, you can put it right on that pillow. I'm gonna have no because you, you the the cord. We're not gonna be able to. Well, I can't put it anywhere else. I know. Okay. Because it needs to charge. My phone's low. So, Chris. Yeah. We uh we needed to get some podcasts. Oh, South I'm sorry. <laughs> you said you, South Carolina. You said you wouldn't. No, don't say that, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're from South Carolina, fuck you. I'm kidding. Oh, well, okay. You... So, but, Josh, what, what did in, you want to start off the in all, with? In all honesty, um, I looked up, um, I looked up podcast ideas. Oh boy. Um, and I found something that can only be described as. Probably the stupidest clickbait I've ever seen. And it's 30 amazing new ideas for podcasts. Okay. Um, what is... Re- read me off one of those. Okay. So, you get like halfway down the page. Um, you see a lot of ads and stuff. Yeah. And you see the, you see a, a, a picture of a woman, I believe. Um, we're, we're really not sure, to be honest. She's standing in front of some tomato soup. And she looks like there's like... Someone killing her dog, like she looks like camera. a female version of Review Bra. I don't know Review Bra, but yeah, exactly. Um, I'll put a picture on screen. All right, all right. so uh, number one, podcast away. A podcast where I silently befriend a volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> Remember from that uh, from that title, we got thirty of these. I don't know how you would do that. What is that? I don't know. You silently befriend a volleyball. That's what it is. Alright, well, is I got that... my volleyball here. That's the sound of volleyballs. That's the sound of the go. Ding, 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 ding. Alright. Ho Quest. A podcast where we visit each of the area codes in which Ludacris has hoes. <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't be a podcast. That'd be more of a... Uh, That'd be more of a vlog. A vlog, yeah. yeah. We gotta get a... Our, our editor's gone. Whatever. Uh, podcast. Um, podcast where I interview people in full body casts. Oh, okay. I feel like that's a little insensitive. So, so how did you, how'd you just, how did you get totally wrecked? Well, I was born with glass bones and paper skin. <laughs> no, he, he actually wasn't. He's a douchebag. Yeah. He's a liar. Liar and a creep. <laughs> Shut up, Jared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was Jared. Podcasts. Podcast where I interview cats about their favorite cats. Hey, Vander, get in here. My cat's not here, Josh. He was over there like a second ago. Yeah, he's gone now. He's not oh. here. How do you do that? I don't know. All right. Um, we. Do you want to look through all these? Yes. Okay. We need to talk about. We need to talk about Kevin. That's literally what it says. We need to talk. And then an ellipsis about we need to talk about Kevin. A podcast where my guests each week are a couple that finally breaks up by arguing about the movie we need to talk about Kevin. Oh, that's that's what I meant. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I guess that makes sense. Neither do I. I wonder what that was about. That is in all caps, so you know it's a good idea. Oh, boy. A podcast where I read the guest... Random tweets while off mic, and all the listener hears is their response to the tweets. <laughs> I'm gonna skip a little through this. Um, number nine is Tell Me Pie, a weekly podcast <laughs> where people discuss pie for 3.1415 minutes. We should actually do that, that'd be really interesting. Um, that would not be interesting at all. I know. <sighs> What? If These Walls Could Talk, a podcast where I interview all the walls that Mark Wahlberg has punched, kicked, or thrown people through in movie trailers. Every time someone gets thrown into a wall, we play a honky horn sound and say that they've been Wahlberged. Alright, I'm getting off this website. 
Are we done with that? Yeah, I don't... I, Are you still reading? I feel like that's really, no, he's done. really boring. Okay. Um. So, guys, I'm looking at the audio file. We're not talking very loud. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. I'd like to remind you, it is almost 3 in the morning. Um... We'll we'll we're a little uh, simmering over here. Yeah, we're a little tired. You, but uh, we you, you we can put ch- you can check if you'd like. We put out the flame of the day, so. Uh, <laughs> the flame. Is that the game? So we're not burning things anymore. We're just we're warming them up. Yeah. Well, uh, no, they're like they're simmering down. Yeah. That that's how that's how it is. That's why it's simmering cast mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Now it's just warm. It's not hot. It's just it, like, yeah, it's simmering, Cass, because you're simmering it down. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Okay. Uh, sorry. Cool. That um, was gross. Yep. I didn't like that, but... Sorry, I've been drinking a lot of soda. I really like soda. My favorite soda is Diet Pepsi. Um, I honestly really don't like uh, Coca-Cola, even though Chris really? um, will tell me time and time again... That it's the same thing. They are literally exactly the same. What They're that, not. Coca-Cola There's more of wait, like a caramel Coca-Cola taste. And Pepsi? Yeah. You're not on the are podcast. You? I'm just asking. They are the exact same thing. There's a very slight taste difference, but it's not big Coca-Cola enough. Coca-Cola is so caramelly. It tastes disgusting to me. It tastes like tar. Pe- Diet Pepsi is so good. Pepsi is so good. Okay. Coke okay. and Diet Coke are... T- Terrible. You know regular Pepsi? Yeah. That tastes exactly the same as Diet Coke. Because you don't have a good taste palette. Chris, I... <laughs> I I'm going to take a joke from John Mulaney for a second. I bet you... I bet your two favorite foods are lobster and Skittles. They are not. <laughs> but you group that together just because you're... Terrible at tasting shit. Um, guys, in the comments, uh, have a little debate. Coke or Pepsi? I'm obviously for Pepsi. Uh, Chris? Either one. I don't care. Yeah, because Chris can't fucking taste shit. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Um, Tostitos or uh, Santinas? Tostitos. Okay, good. Um, Santinas are, are, are pretty good, though. Um... I can't think of anything else. <laughs> um, so, Chris, you ever pa- you ever paint? No, not really. All Do right. you? I actually don't. Uh, surprisingly. <laughs> big surprise. I know it is a big surprise. I would. Uh, I kind of let on that I paint. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I can, from I can my, tell. From my multiple paint vlogs that aren't me. I actually have like a I, I hire someone to paint and then I like take that video mm-hmm. I edit out all the sound because like you know you grunt when you paint and stuff yeah um and then I and then I comment over it I commentate over it okay yeah so it sounds like it's me and I add in some like Rah! like cause you know you, you you paint like that yeah um if you guys want to see that it's actually called um Bob Ross <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say paint game. <laughs> Pur- burnt, burnt paint. Burnt Ross. <laughs> burnt Ross. <laughs> Chris, we uh, have you ever made a weed joke before? I have to like arch my neck to look at you because I'm laying I made down. a lot. You don't need to look at me. It's a podcast. <laughs> it's all. It's all audio. Have you ever made a uh, weed joke? A weed joke? Yeah. Like uh, like Mary Jane. Yeah, and I sense another one's coming. From you? No, from you. Lay it on me. I I don't have any. Lay it on me. No. Think of one right now. We're gonna be silent until you give me a weed joke, even if it's really dumb. Oh God. Um. <laughs> Edit it out all the noises Chris is making, so it's literally just silent, <laughs> including what I'm saying right now. No, please, God, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need to do something.
something. Any noise is better than silence. Ah! He's editing this out. No, he's not. <laughs> Brian's leaving this in. No, he's not. Well, I guess we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we'll see which 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 one of us he's better friends with. Hey, uh, so uh, yesterday my mother made brownies, and I go up to her and it's and I say. <clears throat> Are these brownies or brownies? And she says, "No, they're they're regular brownies." And then Carly from my Carly pours a plant into them. What? Remember that episode of Drake and Josh? No. Where she pours a plant into them, and then all the football members get sick. Was that the first episode? No, the first episode was Ask Amanda, or Ask Stacy, where he where he cross dressed. Oh yeah, that's right. No, do you don't remember the football episode? Barely, like very vague. I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> that was the coach. Oh okay. No, no, she literally poisons the football team because she felt like it. Huh? It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, Carly Shay. Yeah, you mean uh, Megan Trainer? <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? Megan Parker. That's it. That's that was their last name. Josh Nichols. Yeah. Josh Nichols. Josh Nichols. Josh Nichols. <laughs> this is some really good quality right here. Oh yeah, really it's, great. it's amazing. Continue. Um Chris. Yeah. Ask me a question. Should anything. Uh You're you're putting me on the spot here. I know. We're on a podcast. Uh you gotta you got be sitting on the spot, dude. Uh, alright, I'll ask you a question, alright? What? And then, while I'm asking you, think of both your answer and a question that you're gonna ask me, alright? Okay. Alright. From a 1 to 10. Mm-hmm. What's the highest number that you can give me? What? From a 1 to 10, what's the highest number you can give me? Uh, on on what? <laughs> what am I scoring you on? From a 1 to 10, what's the highest number you can give me? Not me. What's the highest number that you can respond? 10. That's that's the highest number on the All scale. Alright, your turn. Uh, <laughs> so, no explanation for what that was? There's a question. Th- have you asked me one? Have you asked me an one? explanation? No, no, like, yeah, you were rating me on this. How about you, how you ask me a question and stop biding time? No, no, I'm just genuinely confused. Like in the Pokemon game. Like that one. Um, with bide. It's buying time. It's biding time. It's both. I'll look it up. I know it's both. Oh my God. I know it's both. Chris, I can see your stomach. You, you're stretching. Uh, I'm, I'm stretching. I'm stretching. What? They're hypotheticals. That's dumb, it. Dumb cunt. It's a little late. It is a little late. It's three o'clock in the morning. Give me a hypothetical, Chris. Um. Hmm. Hypothetically, right? Yeah, it's a hypothetical, so it's obviously hypothetically. It's fucking Christ. Just if, gotta be an ass. <laughs> if if a uh, if a human female, okay. Uh, what about an elven female? All right, if a human female... All right, if a human female, right, comes up to you and says, Hey, let me eat your arm. What do you do? <laughs> what do? Um, <laughs> is this woman attractive? Yes. We'll, we'll just say yes. All right. What color hair does she have? I don't know. I'm trying to visualize this. Blue. Brown. Blue brown, hair? Yeah. Brown hair. You think a, a girl with brown hair would want to come up and just bite his arm? I feel like someone with blue hair would come brown up. Brown hair? Him. Actually, yeah, that, that's someone fair. A little more that, brown? Like, that is Might very be fair. red hair, to be honest. To be yeah, blue. like super bright red hair. Yeah. yeah. Which which is it? It's blue. It's blue hair. Blue hair with uh, green sparkles. <laughs> can, it, can it be green sparkles? I'm imagining it. Sure. Yeah. Um, what is she wearing currently? Uh... I don't know. Uh, she's she's wearing um, Jaden's usual attire. Jaden. Okay. Yeah. Jaden Jaden dresses how how they would portray a cute schoolgirl. 
So imagine Jaden from like four years ago comes up and asks to bite your arm. Because she had blue hair with green in it back then, right? That wasn't four years ago. That was... Three and a half. That was four <laughs> years ago. Oh my god, we're in college. <laughs> I feel we're in college. Um, not currently. Yeah, we're on a break. Tired. but Yeah. So she asked me to... Can I imagine Jaden? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So Jaden, who I've never met at this current moment... Um, comes up, to, comes up to me and says, like, is it a cute way or is it like, I'm going to bite your arm. She's asking your permission. Take that however you want. All right. So I'm going to assume that she's like, excuse me, sir. Can I bite your arm? And, uh, because she called me sir, I'm going to tease her a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to tease her a little bit. I'm going I'm to like... Take my arm out. I'm gonna just like rub it a little bit. I'm gonna like look her in the eye. Maybe I'll like lick my lip just once. Give her a little wink. But uh. So what's your answer? But then I'm gonna look her in the eye very uh, very tersely. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say, you know what, you dumb son of a bitch. Son. This is a human female we're talking you about. Dunce. You dunce. You dunce. I'm going to say, you know what, you dunce. I'm going to have to kindly reject that. And then I'm going to use my arm and the other one I got to dab. <laughs> <laughs> and then, can I, can I, uh, can I, like, take this a little bit? Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, so you're not, like, going to GM me? No. All right, cool. So, I'm going to take this a little bit, and then, because I dabbed, I'm going to, like, look up from my dab, and I'm going to just see a puddle. Right under her. Right under her. And she's going to say, oh, I don't, okay. and she's gonna say, I don't want your arm anymore. <laughs> Is she, though? That's not... He's and then... You now. And then, after she says, I don't want your arm anymore, she's going to... She's going to get down on her knees. Okay. She's going to... Crawl over to me. She's gonna crawl. And she's gonna start praying and say, I want Jesus. <laughs> That's not where I, I thought this was going. I thought that was going. And I'm no. pleasantly surprised. Yeah, me too. You passed the Doritos? Yeah. Alright. Cool, thanks. I was getting hungry and your arm started to look a little, a little nice. Alright. It's Jaden that wants to eat arms, not you. Yeah. What if I pulled like a... What if I pulled like a face mask off when I was Jaden? I would be very uncomfortable. I'd be pleasant. What if I started right? kissing you? I would be extremely uncomfortable. What if I then pulled another face mask off and I would... Rebecca, edit that other one out. Oh, uh, fake name? Yeah, yeah make, make sure it's Rebecca, the fake one. Like, yeah, I, I pulled the Jaden face off and I, uh, and I was Rebecca. I still started kissing you. I'd be all right with that. All right. Would you not? Ha would you not ask her what's going on? I mean, I I would be a little. confused. I would still have my body, by the way. I'd be a little confused, but I wouldn't have as much of a problem with it as you or Jaden kissing me. It, it would still be this you're looking at, just with Rebecca. Rebecca's face, with, with, yeah. but with Rebecca's face. Yeah. I'd be a little uncomfortable. Would you still fuck me? <laughs> it's not too far fetched. You get a lot more person. Oh my god. Can you answer the question, please, sir? Um, what if you just woke up from a dream and you were, like, middle of your SATs? <laughs> why? And, and, like, and, why? And on the paper it says, would you still fuck me? <laughs> Check yes or no. Why? And it's like... <laughs> It's like one of those like elementary school yeah, things. Yeah. Like, do you like me? <laughs> yes or no? Don't fuck me. <laughs> oh, I have a question because I have an answer to the question too, okay. and I'd like you to ask it back to me after mm -hmm. you answer. What? What would you? What would you do if you could be? If you could become invisible and intangible, like at will. Okay, that's a good question. That's actually a good one. That's that a good that one. is a good one, actually. Um. Intangible. Like, like if you're going to do one, it has to be both. Oh, it has to be both? Okay. Yeah. Well, 
If I did it, I would probably fall to the center of the earth. No, your the bottom of your feet aren't. I'll say that. Okay. So that like I'm gonna I'm gonna take that out of the mm-hmm. out of the equation. Okay. Do my clothes also become intangible? Yes, everything that, you that's want good. Me. That is quite. I'm good. using I'm using greater invisibility as the okay. model for this. Yeah. Uh, I'm very glad for that, because otherwise, this power would suck, because I'd have to spend, like, at least 30 seconds putting my clothes on afterwards. Uh, okay. Anyway. Hopefully after you become visible. Well, yeah. Come visible first, and then Uh, put your clothes back on. Well, I would have to, because it's both, not just one or the other. Oh, that's true. I'm sorry, I forgot my own hypothetical. (sighs) So, what would I do if I could become invisible or intangible at will? Both of them at Both will. Both invisible time. and intangible at will. Sorry. Um. Thinking about my answer and I'm g- giggling. Oh god. <laughs> it's not dirty. I'll I'll tell you that. That's it's not good. Dirty I'm at very all. glad. I'm very glad. Unless it's you have not a dirty. really really weird mind, in which case I'm not talking about that. So. Okay. Good. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> um. What would I do? First I mean, thing, first thing. I guess you could fuck with people, pretend to be, like, a ghost or something. So, like, like people are, like, playing with, like, a Ouija board? Yeah, and you just walk into their house. You just, like... <laughs> well, you can't interact with anything, but you can still talk. You can still talk. Yeah, you can so, talk and you can walk through walls. Disappear and fly. He was much more unique than the other guys. <laughs> so, want to hear my answer? <laughs> yeah. All right, ask me the question. If you could hypothetically turn invisible and intangible at the same time, but only at the same time, what would you do with that power? Oh, okay. Is it at will? Yeah. All right, cool. Whenever you want. <laughs> Am I a douche? <laughs> uh, all right, you know what I would do? What? I would, uh, I would sneak into classrooms. Okay. Like, kids' classrooms. Okay. And I would... I would somehow, like... Figure out a way to, like, circulate notes. Alright. Because, you know, like, I would go to... I would kind of, like, do some, like, uh, espionage. Mm-hmm. Or research first. <laughs> um, I, would do, <laughs> I would do some research first. I would see the teachers that are, like, passing notes around, are we? Mm-hmm. And then be, like... And then, like, go to, like, that classroom. Because I, wanna, I want the note to be read out loud in front of the classroom. <laughs> I, would, I would start, like... I would, like, give a note to a kid. So, oh, like... God. I would give a note, but, like... Um... In a way so that, like, they would just think, like... Oh, this person next to me passed it to me, so I gotta mm. pass it. Yeah. So, like... Um... You pass the note down. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I'd do something, like, I'd, I'd cough. So, like, they see... Like, the teacher, like, turns and, like, sees that mm-hmm. they're passing the note. And inside the note, it'd be something, like... Like, Bush did not... <laughs> <laughs> you have to edit that out. Um, and, and wait, do you have to edit that out? It's a meme. No, it's okay. No, yeah, I said Bush did nine eleven. Um, no, I don't have to edit that out. Um, yeah, like inside it says something like that, or like inside or like complex equations that I found like <laughs> online, and it's just like, oh my god, this kid needs to go to like special classes, and then his life is ruined because like it's way too complex for him. And then, well, not special classes. I meant, like, the good ones. Um, the good special classes, not the bad ones. Dude. <laughs> dude. What? The bad ones? Are you calling people with, with special needs bad? No, I'm not, but I'm, I'm saying... I'm that out, though. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm asking no, you the that, question. I'm not yeah. saying... I'm not... <clears throat> I know, Chris. I'm not saying people with disabilities are bad. What I'm saying is for a normal kid, that would not be a good class to be in, because he wouldn't learn anything. True. But like a first grader going to like seventh grade classes, <laughs> and it's just like he solved he solved the most complex math equation that has ever been composed. Which that doesn't make any sense because that mean that would mean I would have to do it. Mm-hmm. Huh? We've been talking for like twenty five minutes, and I'm confused already. <laughs> All right, so. Chris. Yeah. What? Oh. As a kid, did you like dinosaurs or cars? Dinosaurs. 
Dinosaurs. Good. Me too. What was your favorite dinosaur to draw? I didn't really draw as a kid. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's why you're blonde. What? <laughs> um, I'm pretty <clears throat> sure I had blonde hair long before I learned how to draw. Yeah, well, you got pictures? I mean, no. Put them up. But <laughs> I'm not giving Brian my baby pictures. <laughs> I'll give him. To, I'll give him the baby pictures then. I'm not giving I, you. I my... made copies. <laughs> I came over one day we, and when you were asleep, I uh, made copies. All right. <laughs> I brought my copier <laughs> for pictures. <laughs> I can see one. It's like a, that's like. That that's picture like, is that's like, like third grade. You would still draw in third grade, like a normal kid. Yeah. Not I you. Guess. Have you ever drew? Have you ever? I almost, I almost said driven. I almost yes, said driven. I have driven before. Have you ever drawn? For fun? Not really. Really? What did you do as a kid for fun? Pretty much what I do now: watch TV and play games. Before before video games, do you have any memories of that? No, because I started that in like kindergarten. Did you ever play Type to Learn? Yes, actually. Did you did like it? School. It wasn't bad. Like, um, I don't know how it was for you, but in elementary mm-hmm. school, it was like, um, like one Friday every month, we'd go down to the computer lab, and uh, we'd go down, and it'd be just my class um, in the computer lab, and mm-hmm. we'd, we would all be playing Type to Learn, but then I would look over, and like some kids were on Pop Tropica. And I'd be like, hey, come on now. We're here to learn. <laughs> and type. Um, but, like, I I did not like it. I did really? not I did not like type to learn. But I had very fond memories of, of like, that day. Mm. Like, because, like, one, one day every month, it'd be like, cool, we get to skip this specific subject and go down and just type. And it's like, oh, my God. I thought it was like illegal, not literally, but like, it's like, are they, are they allowed to be doing this? We're not learning. (laughs) We're playing computer games. We're not learning. Come on now. And, uh, all, did you have any, like, have you ever had like a really bad teacher? Not like in high school or anything like that, but like back when we had like one teacher. Yeah. My third grade teacher wasn't great. Me too. Mm. My third grade teacher scared me, actually. I had a, I literally feared my third grade teacher. Huh. I said dang it, and my third grade teacher sent me to the principal because she thought I said damn. Damn. <laughs> I shot my pants and... T- <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've already started, so I better tell the story. I mean, yeah. Have I told you this story? Yes, All right, you good. have. So, um, I'm in third grade. We have one bathroom because, uh, this, this class is, um, it's in a building kind of off of the school. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's like, I remember this, the teacher, the first day of school said, we're 30, we're 30 steps away from, uh, from the front door. Mm -hmm. And I always got confused because I'm like, you walk a lot faster than us. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, because you have longer legs. Mm-hmm. We're kids. Like, and I, and I was, like, taller than most kids in the class. So I'm like, yeah. what do I have, like, 29? <laughs> um, No, but, like, yeah. So we were off in that there's one bathroom in that entire class. And I remember um, once a day, we had health class in the main building. Mm-hmm. Um. And we're, like, finishing up the subject right before, and I'm like, oh, I really have to go to the bathroom. Um, yeah. And there was someone in the bathroom, so I'm like, oh, no. Like, I gotta go real bad. <laughs> um, and and I'm just like, all right, I'll just hold it until I get to health class. Mm-hmm. I did not hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have the self control I have right now, and I was just like, "I'm not putting up with this," and I just let loose, and I shot myself. <laughs> then <laughs> I see you laughing over there, Brian. Then 
we get to health class and it gets worse. Oh boy. I know. What was health class in third grade, by the way? I'll tell you what it was today. Today was aerobics. I had shot myself oh. and we're doing aerobics. <laughs> I go in, I go in, <laughs> I go in, the mm-hmm. teacher sits us down, I'm so socially awkward that I'm like, I can't get up and like go to the bathroom right now, I have to just sit on my own poop. <laughs> so I like, I kind of like do that thing where like, uh, what is it, like the backwards turtle walk is what uh, some people <laughs> called it, where like you kind of like, you sit and like you keep your like legs on the ground, you make like the like like you bend your legs and keep your like, keep your feet on the ground, and then like you gotta like lift yourself off the ground with your hands. And I like held myself because I'm like I'm I'm not gonna let this happen. All of you know what I'm saying when I say I'm not gonna let this happen. Yeah. And like that'd be disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> a, uh, um, and so. The teacher starts explaining to us, like, why we're doing this, why it's healthy, Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we, and then, like, she's like, all right, everyone, stand up, get up, um, let's have, let's have a fun class, because, like, it was one of those teachers where it's just, like, school is fun, and at the time, I was like, yeah, it's not that bad, and then I got to middle school, and I'm like, "Ah, all right, (laughs) (laughs) school isn't that bad, but life is, (laughs) um, School isn't that bad, but Miss Kitko was. Oh my god, her. <laughs> um, I mean, she got better after she got the dick in. I'm, so- I'm sorry? She's not transgender, by the way. That's not what I'm saying. I'm literally just <laughs> saying she got married. Yeah. Um, okay. But let me go back to my poop story. I don't know who the fuck married that, but let me go back whatever. To the, let me go back to my poop story, please. Mm-hmm. Um... So in third grade, I didn't have any friends. I didn't have anyone that I could even describe as a friend. I didn't have anyone where I would be like, oh yeah, him? He's my friend from school. No. My parents knew I had no friends in school. I knew I had no friends in school. Too, I was way too socially awkward. Mm-hmm. We start doing aerobics. Oh boy. I'm standing next to someone who I was like, he's really cool. Like... Oh, if I could just talk to him, like, it'd be awesome to be his friend. Start doing aerobics. With shit still in your pants. With shit still in my pants. Because I'm, like, I'm in, like, the front of the class. Oh. And, like, the, and, like, yeah, because, like, of where I had sat. Because I tried to, like, so, picture this. I tried to, like, stay in the back of the group, and people started to, like, pile in when we started to get in. So people were, like, going to the back of the class. So me being in the back of the group when we are piling in ended up in the front of the class. And to get to the door, I would have to pass the teacher who's the center of attention, making me the center of attention. That would be way too much anxiety. So I didn't do that. We start doing aerobics. I'm in the front of the class. I believe people started to catch on. Reason why, kid that I'm the kid that I'm next to. I'll uh, I'll say his name was Tim. So Tim, I see him making some faces, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, he knows. Somehow he knows I shat myself. <laughs> somehow he knows. Somehow he knows that it's me. Because like we're like we're like twenty kids in a in a. In a room that should probably fit, like, 15 kids. And also, we're doing aerobics. So, like, yeah, it wasn't it, it wasn't comfortable, even without the shit in my pants. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Kyle's, like, making faces. Then he starts to, like, turn to me a lot. And I'm like, I'm like, no, don't out me, kid. Don't fucking out me. I'll, I'll, little, I'll literally throw up more than I shat. And, uh... I'm sorry if this is disgusting, by the way. Like, fucking hilarious, actually. It is pretty funny. <laughs> I, I, like, I told him on the way, he's like, what should I talk to in the podcast? I go, tell stories about your life. <laughs> literally, that is the best way to get a yeah. podcast going. Yeah. Literally telling people about yourself. Um, so, so, Tim, 
Tim keeps looking over at me, and I remember this kid's name. If I say his actual name in the podcast, please edit in Tim. Like, take my voice yeah, clip, edit in Tim. I'll just, um, I'll, I'll, I'll censor it, I, I, or I'll, like, just, I'll yeah, make it, like, quiet. Just, I won't just do it. edit in Tim. Yeah. Just move my voice clip over to there. Tim. Um, <laughs> can you say Tim once for me so I can use I've it? said it, like, 40 times, Say it Brian. again, though, so I can Tim. just use it. Um, Tim, okay. So, so, Tim keeps looking over at me and stuff, and I'm, and I'm, like, I'm getting, like, so much anxiety, like, I don't think I've ever felt that much anxiety in my life. And then the moment that I will never forget, even when I die, I hear him sniff. Like, not for like the first time or anything. Yeah, I, I, I like hear him sniff. And I just hear, oh, did someone poop themselves? The entire class, like, kind of like, Giggled, because it's like, haha, he's probably talking about someone farting. That's funny, right? Because we're in third grade. <laughs> and yeah. I was, and I'm like, and I'm, and I'm like, what do I do right now? <laughs> There's nothing. I'm like, if, could I have one get out of jail free card? <laughs> one in my life, use it then. Um... But I'm, 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 my eyes, like, widen. I can, like, I, like, know I'm, like, sweating. Like, my hair is probably soaked because of how sweaty I am from this situation. <laughs> it's like, uh, have you ever seen the movie Airplane? No. Okay. Well, there's a scene in that movie where the guy's trying to land the plane, right? And there's, ju- it looks like buckets of water are being poured <laughs> onto him. <laughs> Almost. Like, so much water is coming off of his face. And I imagine that's what you look like. <laughs> At that moment. If anyone hasn't seen that scene, please look up airplane scene, uh, airplane, sweat. A- airplane sweating scene. Yeah, airplane sweating scene. Um, I'm gonna actually look that up after this. Yeah. Um, so, like, I'm, like, sweating like that. <laughs> and then, like, people, like, giggle a little bit. And then, like, I, I noticed the teacher had, like, stopped doing aerobics, because, like, people aren't paying attention. Mm-hmm. And then she says, like, seriously, like, whoever did that, I, like, stop doing it as a joke, please. And I'm, and I always got, like, a little bit confused about that, because, like, to produce gas, I don't like saying fart, it sounds stupid, to produce gas, it's a natural thing, you just do it. How are you going to be funny about it? <laughs> and I remember, like, like she she went from, like, let's have fun to being, like, all terse and stuff and just being, like, really, guys? Come on. Like, let's, let's pay attention, all right? She probably sees it every day. That's why she hated it. That's true. Like, she probably got so tired of poop yeah. humor. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, I would, too. Yeah, I, That's why I, I would never be a teacher. I, I would definitely get tired Shout of it. Shout out to all the teachers in the world. You are the real heroes. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, no legit. Yeah. And she's like, come on guys, let's, let, let's get back into this. And I don't know, something snapped for me. And I was just like, I was like, ah! <laughs> I just got like a right out of the room. So for everyone else watching, yeah, I'm going to explain their day. <laughs> I'd like to um, hang on. Can I stop you for one second? Feel free. Feel I'd like free. to imagine, right? You get up, you 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 do like an ah uh, all the way out of the. I didn't room. make that noise. I I like to imagine you did, and you're doing like the Naruto run with your arms behind your back, and there's just like loads of shit coming out of my pants. <laughs> Wait, was it falling out? No. Oh, thank God. I'm at, yeah, that, that too. That was like the like, only thing I worried about was while you're doing aerobics, is just pouring out of your fucking. Oh, I don't shorts. think it was. <laughs> You don't know? I don't know. You I never, was so I was back, so embarrassed. Didn't you? you didn't go back. I uh okay, so let me let me um for everyone else watching. It's a normal day. We go through whatever we were going through like math, English, history. Then we go over to health. And uh oh, it's aerobics day. That's okay. So we're doing aerobics. Someone makes a stupid joke. <laughs> whatever. The teacher stops the class for a second. This stupid fat kid just runs out of the room. 
<laughs> no reason. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I ran out of the room <clears throat> sobbing. I went to like clean myself up. Yeah. I uh, went to the nurse, mm -hmm. talked to the nurse, and I was just like, Can I call my mom? And they were like, Yeah, what's what's up? <laughs> what are you are you sick? <laughs> and I'm like, No, I just need to call my mom. <laughs> and like <laughs> And so I like they allow me to call my mom while, like, the ladies, like, I remember her, like, looking at me, like, what's, what's happening? <laughs> like, literally, are you, like, are you okay? And, like, I call my mom and I'm just like, I poop myself. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, Josh, are you okay? And I'm like, I poop myself. And she's just like, all right, I'll be right there. Because <laughs> she's like, you're in third grade. You shouldn't be pooping yourself. Like. I remember just her confusion. A lot of confusion today. Well, during this day. And that's basically the end of the story. But, like... Uh, hmm. But, like... I don't know. The teacher... We got into this because we were talking about, like, bad teachers. Um... <coughs> bless you. Thanks. Yeah, we were talking that's about, like... That's a big dip on the sound wave that sneeze there like there there's two really there's like a bunch of really quiet parts and then suddenly it goes all the way up and down hmm. at the same time um yeah my teacher um mm -hmm. she she was a really bad teacher because she didn't <laughs> teach very well but also i think i hated her because i kind of like put um put that experience in with her so yeah. like if I imagine her, I imagine that experience and just me running out of the classroom crying and just like, um, Chris, do you have any embarrassing stories too? I was literally just going to ask that. Like, yeah. Do you have anything like that? Cause it really did take up a lot of time. Didn't it? Oh, I, I got, I got one from you. Uh oh. You should feel. Sorry. I have one from you. You should feel fucking nervous. Remember when you used to roll around in the class? Yeah, you do. I don't remember that, but I was. I was really, uh... You used to roll around in sixth grade. And, yeah, uh, I, I was... What, what was her name? Mr. Fire? I remember it was Miss like... Miss LaFlam. Yeah. LaFlam? Yeah, LaFlam. Oh, poor Miss LaFlam. <laughs> I, I don't remember this, but I believe it happened because I was very, um... What's the word? Awkward. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Is it another A word that we're not allowed to say right now? Yes. Um, I was very awkward back then uh it's the a word it also starts with aw we'll, we'll just leave it at that <laughs> oh my god <day. laughs> <laughs> so i don't really remember doing this no like, but uh sorry if i, go, I, I no go ahead um i remember this because camden you know you've met camden um our friend camden oh yeah um he was in Burnt Game, Burnt, Burnt Cast, episode, uh, episode one. Yeah. Um, he, uh, me and him talk a lot, um, like, about psychology and that kind of stuff, and, like, we've talked about, like, our own childhood back and forth. Yeah. Because, like, we love talking about psychology together. Um, and he talks about, like, he, yeah, he literally used to just, like, stand in the back of the room and, like watch a class going on like in the back of the room and sometimes he would just like like when he was like typing he didn't want to sit down so he would just like kind of like if you were playing like type to learn mm -hmm. he'd take the seat out like yeah like, he, he was fucking he, he wouldn't he wouldn't what? sit down so he'd just like be like standing up and like typing while everyone else is sitting down looking at him sorry to out you camden but like I just told a poop story of myself <laughs> literally shitting my shitting my pants. I feel like you're okay. Yeah, he's good. He, yeah, he'll I'm, be fine. I'm sure he's fine. He's got a girlfriend now. He's he's made it pretty far in life. Oh my god, his girlfriend is so sweet. I didn't know about the the celestial thing. He is obsessed with the language. He's obsessed with the D and D language, celestial. Okay. Um, and he's figured out how to actually read and write in it. Okay. And his girlfriend wrote like this really touching like love letter to yeah. him. For Christmas in Celestial. Oh, that's cool. It's so... Grace... If... I can't say your name. Edit that out. 
We said waifu in the last episode. That's what he wanted. <laughs> it's fine. He... Just don't say her last name. All right, Grace, you're a sweetheart. You're awesome. If you ever want to be on Burnt Game, <laughs> feel free. Way to promote your fucking self. <laughs> you ever want to join us? This is Burnt Cast. We're yeah, on yeah, we our channel. More. Hey, uh, guys, check out Burnt Game. <laughs> we, we're literally posting this on our channel. It's not really self-promotion. <laughs> No. Well, it it is, but everybody it's not even does self. That. It's not even self promotion. If I get if I uh, asked you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> remember when we used to do that in every video? Yeah, we stopped. Remember, doing that. remember when every YouTuber used to do that, and then it became a like a cliche and a meme. And then Logan and now... Paul recorded a dead body. Yeah, that too. But uh, they talked about that on the last podcast, mm. which I wasn't invited to. Mm. You can bring it up. Eh, How do you feel about it? I don't think it's good. That was that was just retarded okay. for him to do. Use the word gross. Retarded is like a little strong. He's using retarded in the sense that it was a dumb idea. That sixth graders use it. Yeah, True. basically. Like it how, was like how gay is used. Damn, that's by sixth retarded. Graders. Yeah, like, like how kinda... how sixth graders use gay to be a bad thing or retarded yeah. to be a bad thing. It was Josh, just you're gay, dude. <laughs> Take me off the back of it, please. <laughs> Josh, we're sorry for outing you. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> I apologize. That's just not nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I understand. I've told you guys... I, I told you guys... Alright, stop the recording for a second. I told you guys... I told you guys... A really pressing story in my life. Something that's... Something that's added to my origin story. Something yeah. that has made me who I am today, and I, I told you guys something. Stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> retake, retake the skit. Retake the skit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you a pressing I story about my shit it. my pants. I couldn't help. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He slapped. Chris's hand away from turning off the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was serious. <laughs> if you had actually had me stop that and we're like, alright, we're gonna do a skit real quick. Just start it back up and follow my lead. I would I would have been able to do it. <laughs> oh, no, I wanted a genuine response. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got one. Hey, future Josh watching this episode. Um, how's our tooth doing? <laughs> No, I literally have a bad tooth. Oh, nice. And it, nice. like, cuts in and out with, like, intense pain. Like, I'm melting my own skin off. Or just, like, oh, cool. I have a cracked tooth. Hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, future Josh, leave a comment. Um. <laughs> um. 327 right now. Yep. Yep, it is. If you are watching this and it is 327... You have earned. You have earned a switch. Um, we're doing a switch giveaway right no, now. We're not. You got it. No, we are um, not doing that. All right. Well, not anymore. Um, instead, uh, here I'm gonna hold my hand up to the recording software. Hold your hand up to your mic. We just, we just high five. Um, so. That's only if you are watching this at 320. No, that is only if it is literally 327 while I'm still talking. If that is not the case, you can just go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's gross, dude. You just cracked yeah, your I'm neck? Sorry. Yeah, I did. Alright. What if you cracked your neck, like, all the way? I would probably break it, but I don't do that. Alright. I only crack it to 90 degrees. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffles. Yeah, I, uh, I, I have it too. Yeah, well, all about you. I mean, yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Dude, you wearing like white vans or something? Because damn, Daniel. <laughs> you know I had to do it to him. All right. We got like 10... We either have 10 or 40 minutes left of this uh, podcast. I say 10. All right. Of this first one. Are we doing another one? Yes, you yeah. are. Okay. You can do it. You only got a couple more hours to go. Chris, oh, Chris, um, 
talk for talk for a bit. A minute. Um. Okay. What what story should I tell, Josh? Give just give a give a funny story that you that you've had. I I don't know much about you. I could tell the story of the Nike Ninja. Do it. All right. It's not funny. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah. Go ahead. But it, it was the only, first one I thought of. So anyway, um, back in my f- like year, like, okay, so it was the summer between my eighth grade year and my freshman year of high school. Okay, so I was at a summer camp, which I won't I won't reveal the name of, but it, it's in my state. Yes, I live in the United States. Everything starts with a summer camp, doesn't it? <laughs> So this one time at band camp, I stuck a flute in my pussy. Okay. I... <laughs> Why? You American haven't seen Pie? that movie? No. Oh. <laughs> that was funny just by itself. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I, w- I was at a summer camp. Um, this is an all boys summer camp. May I remind you? Nothing gay happens. Don't worry. I went. Well, one kid did tear his asshole. What? What? <laughs> One kid tore his asshole while I was up there. Are you serious? I'm being 100% serious. I don't remember this. Are you serious? <laughs> no. This was like a main or yes, part. yes, I am. This was a main part of the night. Of that night. A kid like, we were doing like a... Well, this a, is the year before you went there. Well, I'm talking yeah. about like a... I'm talking about like nothing gay went up there, but a kid did tear his asshole while I went up there. I don't saying, remember like, that. Oh, you said nothing gay. Yeah, no, there was nothing... This wasn't in a gay sense. He just tore his asshole. How? I don't know all the information. Was he doing gay things to himself? No, I think he was just playing a sport or something. He tore his asshole and then he shot... Then he, like, he shat himself and it tore more. I'm sorry again. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of poop in this cast. Can I... (laughs) This is the poopinest cast we've ever had. Burn Games Poop Cast. We're not calling it that. You're not Can calling it. Can we please it. call it the poop cast? I will. All right, cool. All right. Anyway, so the Nike Ninja, right? So we were doing this game for the entire camp. It's it was like a special activity that day called Gold Rush, where you would find these gold painted rocks. You'd bring them to the rifle range so the these two counselors could appraise them or whatever. Then you got a gun. And you were, and then they would give you like you this. You were sent to your school. Then they give you this note, and you would bring, bring it that out. <laughs> no, you're not. That's not bad. Are you serious? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so they would. They would. We're just moving on. They would give you this note, and you'd bring it to this building, which was modified to be the bank. So, uh, was that where the gun was used? Just, just shut up, <laughs> shut up, Josh. So there were there were these kids who would go in there and they would rob the bank, which so yeah was well kind of which was discouraged but not against the rules, right? So what I did is I was wearing this T-shirt with a little Nike symbol on the front of it. I tied it around my head like a like a ninja mask. You and, can you can find like tutorials of how to do this online, by the yeah. way. And the Nike symbol ended up perfectly over my mouth, so my um my my cabin, I guess, which that's really the only way I can think to describe it, is like the kids you're living with for that week. Anyway, yeah, your cabin. Yeah, your cabin. So bunk me. <laughs> so these kids all started calling me the Nike Ninja. And I robbed that bank real fucking good. Oh. So much. Take that out of context. May I clarify, that's not a real bank. That was a fake one. I don't think you have to clarify. I guess you should. Yeah, I probably should. Yeah, I should clarify that was a fake bank at a summer camp with a game made for oh, a goddamn uh, less than 16-year-old kids. So, uh... Yeah, so the Nike Ninja stopped being a force for good. So, uh, Chris... Less than minutes after his creation. So, yeah. Chris, I uh, decided that I uh, figured out the best way to end off this podcast. Oh, yeah? I'm calling it a podcast because it's not a poop cast. <laughs> <laughs> Why do bananas need sunscreen? <laughs> Why? Because they feel.
Add in rim shots. No. Add in rim jobs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Add in personal rim jobs. It's over. End it. It's not over. It's, it's not over. No, I have a couple more. Rip boiled water. You will be missed. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Did you really search that up? Yeah. These are called these are cringy jokes. Oh, here's one of mine. Um a conspiracy theorist walks into a bar. There has to be something going on there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love that joke. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that that's actually funny. That was fucking. Uh, All right, this podcast is over. See you yeah, on the next. No, 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 no! Don't don't just end it like that. All right. How do we end it then? All right. Can I unplug your phone for a second? Yeah, sure. All right. Can you help me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank All right. Cool. All right. Okay, good. It's still recording. Guys, we're gonna end this podcast off. Real nice for you. I want you to go home today thinking to yourself, stop Chris, thinking to yourself that you're worth it. You, You are worth it. If anyone ever tells you that you're not worth it, eat them. They're wrong. The they're, duality of man. They're truly wrong. You are a perfect specimen in your own skin. You are the best you you could ever become. And that's not bad. That is great. So go home and jack off to your to your reflection in the mirror. You're an incredible person. <laughs> Gosh, was that the feminist speech? Love yourself and others will love you too. I feel like I've thank you for just go home and jack off into the mirror. You'll be you'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you for being alive. You truly have made a contribution in your life and you will make many more. All right. All right. I love you. I love you. If no one else can. Can you turn that podcast off, please? <laughs> we're done here. Thanks. Josh, Josh we're going to stop this podcast right now. We're thank done. you for everything. No more. <laughs> Subscribe to Bird Game. <laughs>